How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of CityZilla Plays City Skylines and in this episode we are going to be doing something kind of fun. In the last episode I had talked briefly about maybe adding in some sort of pool or water feature in order to put in the water animals. I believe, I think it's the sea creature enclosure, yeah sea life enclosure and so I, I think it'd be really fun. I haven't seen it before. Um, let me know, I mean, if somebody has done it, but I, I think it would just look really cool in this peninsula. And so I wanted to first off utilize the Quay Anarchy and kind of have this come over here and go like that. And I wanted it to be square, but also big enough to house the enclosure. So I think like right there looks pretty good. We're probably going to mess around with some of the paths to get it to fit a little better but then we are going to come into our level tool and I wanted to come over here right click in the water and then come down here and we're just going to level it out we're probably going to have to mess around with the keys a little bit just to make sure that the land does end up leveling itself out sometimes whenever you're using uh, key anarchy it just doesn't work out super well um, just because of the way that the ground interacts with the keys, like you can kind of see with this, like if you just move it a little bit, then you can eventually, yeah, there you go, reach a point where it does disappear, and so that's what we want. And then we are just going to go like that, and then come back in, and then now what I'm thinking is, we will just come into our water and choose the freshwater outlet. And we're just going to put a bunch of these. Um, what I'm thinking is we will fill this pool up. And then once it reaches a certain level, we'll actually delete these guys. And there you go. Just unpause it. And then make sure we do have excess water. We do, but I think we can actually add in one more. Let's look where our water level is at. So we're already pretty low. Let's look down here because we were having those flooding issues, but now that we're kind of sucking up most of the water, we're not really having that issue anymore. And so I think we're just going to put in a water tower. I think that would be good. Yeah, there you go. Just put it on our little water utility island and then just let this fill up. So I think that's probably good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and then put in our water sea life creature thing first, just to make sure, because I don't want to delete everything and then have to come back. I do want this to be kind of in the middle. Yeah, there you go. And then I'm going to grab this guy and just level it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, perfect. I think that's probably pretty good. We could go a little higher, but I don't, I don't know if that's necessary. Let's see, though. I think we're right there, because we're going to get a little bit of rock out of it anyways, and so we don't really want all the water to be kind of spilling over. It's going to take a little bit for the water to kind of normalize in here. And so we'll just delete those guys, and we can actually go in and delete our water pipes too. I guess it's not a huge deal. We'll just leave those there. And then what we need to do now is uh, just come in and put in some paths and then I want to finish decorating this area up and then we will call it done for our lovely zoo. I really like that we were able to fit this in. Initially I was thinking that I wanted to do um, like a little bit of a, like a safari kind of thing and I think it would have been really cool but I think this is actually going to end up being just as cool, if not even a little cooler than what I was initially thinking. Yeah, and then we'll come in here. Go right 
uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I think that's probably good right there. I do want to just clean these up. I kind of want to make it a curve if we can. Yeah, there you go. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll probably do access like right there. We'll probably put in an access point over here too. Uh, it looks like that's not going to work out super well just because the enclosure. And so we'll go like right here. Maybe we could even do... Eh, I mean, a part of me wants to do one there, but a part of me also wants to leave that empty for um, some sort of landscaping. And so I think we will do this. And go like that. I think that looks pretty good. And then what I'm thinking is we'll come in and do some more of those little gazebos. Just because I think they're really nice to have. Especially at some like an amusement park-ish kind of thing like this. It would be nice to be able to grab something to eat with your family or whatever. And so I think what we'll do here is... Maybe something like that, and then we'll do a little bit of, like, some shops or something in there. Because I think that's what we were, we did before. We had done this and then gone down here. Maybe we'll even get rid of that guy and get rid of that guy and then come in here. Yeah, there you go. Maybe even near it. Heck, you know what? I think that looks pretty cool. And then we will unpause so that we can get this thing humming along and we can see if we have any sort of issues and then now all I want to do is come in and landscape everything and so first off I want to put in our little gazebos so I think we'll come over here and go like this I think that was it for the gazebo you know maybe we'll put them right there too Uh, we'll see if we kind of messed up on that one because I was thinking that maybe we we're going to put some shops in there and you can kind of see the waters overflowing a little bit. It probably would have been smarter for us to go even just a little a little less. I could drop the, the floor down a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. And so before we place down any of the shops, I just want to fill in these areas with trees because this is where you would be going to eat with your family or whatever and so it would be nice if it was kind of secluded a little bit we just need a different tree now mm. looks like we chose all the same trees right there Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. And this actually looks like a good area for a path, maybe. Yeah, I think this would be, that'd be a good spot. Have a little bit of a path area through there. Could do one there too, but. No, nah, you know what? I think this whole area kind of already looks a little uh, congested. Maybe we'll get rid of that. But then we'll come in here, and I did want to, so Zoo Cafe. Zoo Cafe, Zoo Souvenir Shop. Cafe, Souvenir Shop. Maybe we'll put the bathrooms on the insides. I was kind of hoping to do the landscaping, but I think that looks pretty good. Bathrooms in the middle, and then the... Restaurant and the souvenir shop on the side. Yeah, there you go. And then I think we'll put in like a little rock guy over here because that's initially what we had done for those little triangles is dead. Uh, like some landscaping. And I think because we did the rocks in the other ones, this is going to look pretty good. Yeah, there you go. 
I think that looks great. And then we could do some trees across this area, but I think we'll leave it at that. But we will um, come in and just put in some foliage around this guy. So I think this looks really good. I definitely didn't plan on putting the red all the way around, but I really like how it turned out. I like that we were able to get this water feature in, and I think this whole zoo looks really good. I, I honestly think this is probably the best zoo I've ever done. And a lot of it is thanks to this peninsula, and luckily I'd gotten that suggestion. Thank you so much for providing that suggestion. Um, if you guys have any other ideas, a, a lot of the best ideas I've gotten in this city were from uh, commenters kind of bringing up some cool stuff like this area had came from one of a, one of the, a comment that I got and I got the idea to do this whole kind of transport area and and so thank you so much I really like how this looked and we are going to go ahead and dive into the airport park detail we've been kind of thinking about it for a long time and I've been putting it off but now I think it is definitely time and so the first thing we needed to do and I, it's kind of funny I thought we had already put one in but our buses right now are actually coming all the way down here making a loop around and so we need to do a little bit of an oval about nothing too crazy just small enough to allow them to turn around and so we're just going to go like this we're going to come down go go down to one come down again and just go like that it's literally only for buses i, I really don't know why a car would take it but it does allow the buses to turn around like see so they're already going they're like yeah finally we don't have to drive all the way down and so next what i wanted to do what i was thinking is so we'll go into our paths we'll come in here and we're just going to use the basic path to begin with um, because you can kind of upgrade it really easily and so we're going to come over here we're going to go like that and we're going to come up one, two three come across go back down and the reason I'm mirroring this is because uh, I want to create like some a nice little park area around all of this. And I think it's going to be a good opportunity to do that. So we'll come up here, we'll do like that, and we'll, do the, we'll just kind of mirror it. And there you go. And so now we got nice path access going all the way down. And then I just want to put in a couple areas to where they can cut into the middle, maybe get to this little transport hub or metro or the monorail or wherever they wanted to go. And then I think what we're going to do is actually do some landscaping that's maybe not super intended for people to walk through, but we still will have a little bit of access. So I want to come in here and do some rocks. And I want to, yeah, maybe do this guy yeah right there and then we'll probably do the same one and just turn it i do want it to be kind of level though we're gonna pause just so we can delete this guy yeah there you go and then the idea that i had was for us to kind of do some circles around this guy I thought it would be really cool 
And so we'll start off with bigger trees. I like these tall, kind of bushier trees. And we'll go back to our circle tool. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. I like how bright those are. And then we'll come in here, and so that I think is going to be the biggest tree we use on these sides. So I think now we'll come to this tree, because I don't, I really don't think these are bigger. Yeah, they're smaller. Actually, I want to change colors. Yeah, we'll go like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Go like that. So it just provides a little bit of contrast. Nothing too crazy, but enough to where you can see them and it's just a little different and then we'll come into our green guy yeah there you go do the same thing yeah there you go that already i mean i think that just looks so cool it, it's not perfectly manicured i kind of wish it was but because we did those big orange guys in the middle it's not going to be perfect and so now i just want to come in and actually do some bushes Yeah, there you go. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of wish we had maybe done these smaller trees in the front. I don't. I think the trees are maybe a little too big. But we'll come in here and then just do foliage now. Um, this area we're not going to do any paths. We're literally just going to have this as like kind of a display for tourists next to our fire watchtower. Hopefully these don't catch on fire. And there we go. We come down. And there we go, you know, I think that looks pretty good. I definitely was was hoping for a little of a cleaner look than this, but I actually really like it. I like the, the contrast. I think the trees look really good. And then what I'm thinking for this side is we'll make it a little more pedestrian friendly. And so we'll probably come in the middle. And then we're just going to come into our trees and do some of the sugar maples on the inside. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good already. And then maybe we'll use some of these guys to cover this. Maybe we'll actually use those newer ones that I got. Actually, I like the color on these a lot. I think they look super good. I think we're going to decrease the space and maybe go down to five. We'll see if this is... Mm, I think that's just a little too tight. Maybe we'll go eight. Hey, you know what? I think that looks better. It's really red, but uh, it would be kind of cool to see. Yeah, I think I think that would be interesting. Um, I don't know how realistic it would be, as I'm sure these trees aren't native to this area, and so. But it looks cool. We'll come in here, do some of these guys. And then I wanted to follow this kind of circle pattern, but with maybe some of the smaller rocks. I think that could look good. So maybe we'll come in here, go like that, go like that, go like that. And we'll just assume those are different rocks. Sometimes they change, sometimes they don't. I think some of them change and some of them don't. And then we'll come into this guy and we'll do
Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll just follow the foliage look over here. You know, and I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to leave the sides grass and then what we'll do is put in some gazebos so that if people are walking through here, they could stop and just kind of relax. I think that would be a nice, nice little feature of this rather than just being a walking, uh, walking area, which would still be, a, I mean, a really nice walking area. And so we don't want to discount that, but would like to at least provide a little bit of seating for people other than just benches so like families could actually come here on the weekends maybe if they wanted to it'd kind of still be a little loud but it'd still be nice to come to and so i think we need to paint it as a park paint park area yeah well actually just come all the way up here And right there. Perfect. And then we do need a main gate, sadly. I don't think we're going to charge for anything. But maybe we'll do it right there. I think that could look good. It doesn't stick out as much there. That's good. And then that way, I mean, we could ideally connect it up. Uh, I don't really like that, but maybe we'll just do that. There you go. I think that looks okay. Hey, yeah, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. And then now we can actually just come in here and put in a little bit of gazebos. And that'll be kind of nice to uh, we'll put a little one color on. Hey, you know what? I think that looks good. And then I think we'll actually keep that grass. And then I think we will keep this grass as well. And we'll just kind of clean it up a little bit. So I think grass, especially in areas like this, can look really good. And I think this looks is definitely one of those settings. I do want to surround 
the transportation hub. No, so we'll probably go like this. Yeah, there you go. I think that looks good. Um, I really like leaving this empty too, because I like having big, big lawns like that. Maybe we'll just put in a couple like shade trees. I mean, this these look good. So maybe we'll just do a couple. One, two. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks good. I would like to believe that maybe they would use these as uh, little shade trees. And then I like that we did all of these little circles and kind of went a little above and beyond, but I wanted to do something cool here and that's why I kind of left it for so long. And I, I like how we just left these gazebos kind of in the grass. Maybe we'll actually just do some like wooded sections over there. Let's see how that looks. You can always come back and uh, get rid of it. I think maybe having the gazebos in, in a covered area might be good. Hey, yeah, you know what? I think that looks better. So at least now they would have a little bit of privacy. Not a lot, but enough. Yeah, there you go. I like that. And then we could even extend that down here, maybe. Yeah, we'll just add in a couple. Kind of like a wooded section around the park. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Go ahead and let me know what you think. Uh, if you're interested in more detailing, I'll throw up a video for when we did all these custom parks over here. And it's actually a really cool video. Um, we spent a lot of time on these parks and they came out really well. Let me know in the comments what you think about this or if you think we could have done something differently or if maybe this red's a little too much. We can always come back through here and kind of change up some of these. But I think the circles look really cool and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much.